Hello, please sit. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. My name is Rashi. What is your name? Arjuna. Okay, you are Arjuna. And what is your name? My name is Bharti. Okay, Arjuna and Bharti from Kasan Commerce A. And your serial numbers are Arjuna, you are 2, and Bharti, you are 3. Uh, yes, Arjuna, can you tell me which part of the city you belong to? I belong to Smana. Okay, uh, what do you think about it? If I talk about my city, then Savannah is very congested city, have okay. a large density of population mm -hmm. and there is no place where we can go to outside as a play and something. Okay. Uh, yes, Bharti, how do you plan your holidays? In my holidays, I like to visit my maternal uncle home okay. as well as to take something extra coaching so that I can reach up to the heights of success. Okay. What kind of TV programs you love to watch? I love to watch comic serials mm -hmm. that give me some relaxing fun. Okay, uh, now candidate A, that is Arjuna, you are going to tell us something about your topic. When you have finished, candidate B, that is Bharti, will ask you a question and then I will ask you some more questions. Would you like to begin please? I am going to speak on the social networking sites. Okay. As we know, media and networking has spread its tentacle all over the world. It, has, it includes various aspects of communication and one of the uh, major aspects is social networking sites. A social network, a networking site has different uses for different persons. A thought regard it is a play store while there are others who keep on researching for the communication and there are still others who do it as a major source of information. So in the conclusion, a social networking site is a site by which people get interacted with each other. Still, a large majority of researchers look up into these sites as a source of knowledgeable information. They mould their thinking levels into their own knowledge. So, it directly contributes toward the economic development of the country. So, in the conclusion, a social networking site has its great importance and power in today's world. As I am a teenager, a network is an age of teenager. Teenage. As teenagers are always here for the best possible results of usage. Some use it as a source of information, while others regard it as a source of communication, and both have the limited effects on the minds of the teenagers. However, uh, I like to say, however, uh, these social networking sites have some social networking sites are webbed in very sensational way. They does not produce a healthy effect on the minds of teenagers. So, on our part, what I have to do is the proper use of our layer and. Social networking sites have to produce a true picture of what they want to say okay. and they should be neutral. Thank you. Uh, can we be Bharti, can you ask a question to her? Achna, as you are also a teenager, what do you think that what are the bad effects of using these social networking sites? Yeah, social networking sites have very major bad effects on the minds of teenagers. As some teenagers get addicted on the on these sites, they does not use in uh, in the neutral way. They start using in the wrong way and they get distracted from the studies. Okay. Uh, can you tell me that what should be done to change the mindset of the teenagers as you were saying they tend to uh, use those sites in a wrong way? As we can as we can use a social networking sites to uh, give a view to the teenagers as they are not using these uh, sites in a good way. We have to appeal them not to use in the unlimited way, use them in the limited way as a proper time maintenance with the time, study and everything. Proper maintenance should be there. Okay. Uh, so, what should be done to uh, make them understand the uh, correct usage of these things? We can make a page on the uh, Facebook and WhatsApp. We mm -hmm. can share it and we can make them appeal to not to use it in a bad way. And there are many pages too in there in these sites. Okay. Uh, thank you. Now, can we be, you are going to tell us something about your topic when you have finished. Archana will ask you a question and then I will ask you some more questions. Would you like to begin please? I would like to speak on the topic career. Before I start with my topic, I would like to speak few lines about life as career is an integral part of life. Life is an echo. You get back what you give. It is a mere superstition to say what destiny it holds, it gives. As we know, we have to reach our destiny ourselves. So career. Career means a strong desire to achieve something great. And desire is at the bottom of every achievement. Your efforts led to the way to the victory. So, for example, if a man sits idle, feeling that his luck will bring him glory, then he's just doing his life. 
So what can a luck do without your own initiative? Think about it. Could India attain the freedom from the Britishers if Indians would not have revolted? No. So to put an initiative is the first and the foremost important initiative that should be done. According to me, one the choice of a profession is a difficult job because the whole life of a person depends upon it. Yes. And after choosing the choice, um, a question arises that what should be done to achieve that profession? And so we should do proper success, uh, we should proper efforts to achieve the success as success depends upon the preparation and determination. As it is a uh, phrasal verb used that every dog has its day. But do you think the day comes by chance? No, the day is created by our hard work. And when we do the hard work, we came with the dark scenes of disappointments. We feel upset, but we should not feel upset. We have to face those struggles. And we should, uh, as we know, failures are the pillars of success. So we should utilize our inner power to achieve our success, to convert the defeat into the victory. Okay, thank you. Uh, Arjuna, can you ask a question to her? Yes. Bharti, what do you think? What type of views we have to keep in our mind while choosing a career? First of all, while choosing a career, we should uh, remember that what interest in a particular subject and then after taking the help of our mentor, we should take a particular decision about our choice of profession. Okay. Can you tell me that what you have planned for your future uh, regarding the career? As the choice is mine, I would like to choose that I want to become a chartered accountant and to earn the bread and butter for my family. Uh, why, uh, why that choice only? Because as I have taken the maths as an optional subject also, my interest is in mathematics also and I want to take that interest in a long way. And okay. Uh, can you tell me some uh, suggestive measures to the parents who impose their own choices on the, their children? Parents should not oppose their own choice to the children because they should uh, first of all listen to their children that what interest they have in a particular subject and then uh, if the, there are some uh, situations in the house that if the parents oppose to them then they should remember that they should not oppose them out, they should first of all uh, give them proper, uh, proper yeah. guides that then they should choose the profession correctly. Okay, now let's move to the next task of your test that is a problem solving task. Uh, I will give you a problem situation, both of you are supposed to read it and try to come out with a solution for the same. So this is problem uh, solution, problem number <coughs> SO1, please read it, you have 20 seconds, discuss and then try to come out with a solution. Bharti, are you aware about the unhygienic food used by our school canteen? Yeah, I also heard about it. And you know what is the major problem? Our students are consuming it even in knowing it. So what can both we do on our part to make them aware? I think we have to display notice or posters on the notice bulletin board. Yes, absolutely fine. We can also enact with play cards. Yeah, very better idea. But don't you think so that there must be proper cooperation or group efforts? Yeah, if we are talking about the group efforts, then we can take help of the parents, teachers as well as the sincere students. But teachers, how a teacher can help us in this? Teacher can appeal to the principal ma'am for our, this campaign and they can uh, put the restriction over the uh, usage of unhygienic food. Restriction? Yes, better idea. But I have a question in my mind. Yeah, but uh, what sort of question? Why can the seller is selling these unhygienic food? It's very simple just to make profiteering fees uh, involved in adulteration. But this is not at all right exploitation of consumers. Yeah, it's too much. But it's a serious problem. Something should be done to solve this. Yeah, then we can appeal to the report to the Consumer Rights Council. And parents must also have to do something on our part. Yes, you are saying right. Parents, we must request them to solve this for the healthy eating habits. They can encourage their votes. Yeah, parents also. <coughs> Parents have to emphasize their words not to use the, uh, eat the unhygienic food. As there are many problems that arise by using this unhygienic food like problems like obesity, breakage of nerves and so on. Dear Bharti, not only this, there is wastage of money, there is wastage of savings of parents. Ah, this one is the biggest consequence. This, this should not be there. Yeah, now we are going to do our best efforts what we can do on our part. So by using the best efforts, we can make this ourselves help into the community health. 
Okay. Uh, so, have you come up with a solution? Yes, yes, ma'am. Karthi, what is that? That uh, for uh, making them aware to the students for the healthy eating habits. First of all, we will take the help of our teachers, principal, ma'am, and sincere students, so that they can, they all can help us to make them aware. And by also, if there will be proper health of a child and proper education will be there, we can, they can take part in the economic development of a country also. And okay, Aksha, do you agree with the solution that she has given? Yes. Why? Right. Because this is the only solution uh, with which we can appeal to the students not to use uh, eat the unhygienic food as they are the future of the India. And if they are not sick, they are abstained from their work which directly give a bad effect to the economy of our country. Okay, how would the students uh, react when you will tell them to uh, stop using these type of junk foods, cold drinks and uh, all these things? Firstly, they will be surprised when we will tell them about the bad consequences of uh, principal and we put restriction over it. And so that, but when we will make them aware about the bad consequences, they will try to understand and help us. Okay. What role do you think the parents can play in uh, solving this problem? As Bharti already said, parents are the role models. So if parents put emphasis on their words not to use, uh, not to eat unhygienic food as they, this is a, gives a bad effect on their health, they, uh, they understand their parents what they want to say if they are sincere and to want to understand what they want to say. Okay, could you uh, build awareness by uh, organizing this sort of campaign? We can build awareness. Okay. Well, what efforts will you put in? We can display posters in it, play, uh, in it with the play cards and many other things which we can do a dance, a uh, sort of dance in which we can couch that the students are being now putting their efforts to like the couch potatoes and they are not give a good effect on their health. Okay. Uh, so thank you so much. That is the end of your test. Thank you students.